All right, today I'm going to talk about hinge jigs, hit router hinge jigs, and why you should throw this in the garbage. Never spend money on a jig again. This took me about 10 minutes to make. This will cut perfect hinge mortises for you. And as a side benefit to the other jig, this template will show you and line up exactly with the edges of your mortise that you want to cut. And the mortise is tight enough that it'll hold the hinge itself. Scrap wood, see a little bit of CA glue, a little bit of wood glue, and router bushings. These are one of the most versatile parts of a router that you need to get, and they're going to really step up your router game. All right, let's get to it. One of the biggest secrets to this, and uh, one that more and more people should be made aware of, is that this bushing right here. Router, J router <coughs> template bushings make the router one of the most versatile tools in construction or woodworking in terms of making anything you need to make and being very accurate and precise in doing so. So before we get into it, guys, uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like the video, give a thumbs up, comment, whatever. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate all the support. Let's do this. So if you want perfect hinge mortises and you're tired of spending money on jigs that uh, really don't stand up that well, this is for you. This video is going to show you how to make this router hinge jig, uh, router mortar hinge mortise jig, and uh, some of the benefits and how it can save you money and time. And once you get the hang of making this, you can really make a jig for anything. So today we're going to make our own hinge template uh, for a router. And uh, I want to go over a few things and show you the real benefits of using a bushing over a flush trim bit. Uh, and, you know, show you a really easy way to make a template for pretty much anything that you're going to need to. And the more complex it obviously takes longer, but for this one, it's going to be pretty easy. And we're going to make this so that if you want to route the hinge on an existing door jam with a door stop installed it'll sit over top of a half inch door stop as well so the first thing you're going to do is throw your tape measure out because measuring stuff is the first way to get it wrong you don't need to measure this you're going to use the actual hinge itself and uh, some of these pre-made marked spacers like focus See this quarter inch, this is one eighth, that's what we're going to be using, and uh, this makes it easy, super easy to give you an offset of what you're going to make. And then we're going to need some CA glue, hardener, and wood glue, and some scraps of half inch Baltic birch. So right off the bat, I'm going to use a three quarter inch router bushing and a half inch router bit. So the difference between those is a quarter inch, which means that it's one eighth on either side. So to get the distance I need from here to here, so that when my router runs between those two, I get the exact size I need, I need one eighth of difference on either side. Or you could do a quarter in total and it doesn't matter, but because I'm using this hinge with the pin in it, I don't really want, even want to take it apart, Slightly wider makes it harder to do, but if I use one eighth on either side, then I can just throw the hinge in the middle here, squeeze these up to it, put one eighth on either side of them, and I'm going to get precisely what I need. And so that's the, the shape I need. How we're going to get that now? We're just going to undo all this, undo this, and we're going to use some CA glue. I like to spray the activator on the piece that is going to have activator on it first so that I allow the aerosol to uh, leave and not be a contaminant or form some kind of film or weaken the bond and I, I've generally found that this gives me a stronger bond and so then I've got glue on both the tops of these pieces oh, I'm going to put this back down 
And you can really actually just glue this one on anywhere. It doesn't matter. And while that's setting up, you can get this ready and then you just squeeze that in, make that tight, let that set up. And once it's set, you can pop your hinge out. And this is your basic template to cut this hinge. If you just wanted to do this on flat stock, you could put uh, a 90 degree fence on the edge of this and shove this up against the side of your door or <clears throat> the side of your uh, jam and this would do it for you. But we're gonna go one step further and we're gonna make this so that you can use it on a door, pre-made door jam with door stops because that's the way that I do mine. Yeah, it's a little bit different, but it's just easier and this, this replicates the existing jigs you can buy much easier. So then <clears throat> the easy part is getting this, which will just cut out that shape of your hinge. The next part is understanding where to put the riser for it. And what this is going to do is this is going to pick it up so that this will sit over top of the door stop on a jam. Right, your door stop is gonna run behind this piece under that and this will give you the strength to go around it. And what you need, uh, so your door stop is, is about uh, an eighth of an inch off of your hinge mortise in the door, sorry. A little slip of the brain there. Your door stop is an eighth of an inch back which your template here is also gonna cut an eighth of an inch back from this line. So the easiest way to get the two of these exactly where you need them, we're gonna use a little bit of CA glue and some wood glue for this because I want a stronger bond and I wanna tie all these together a little better. But I'm just gonna glue them together like this, standing upright, and that's gonna give us our full template across the hinge and the way to overlay it and then after that we're going to add one last piece and that's going to be our stop so that we can sit it up against the edge of a door and that way we can do doors, jams and jams that are installed with a uh, door stop on them. All right, and so before we begin, I got a, I got a half inch bit in this, a three quarter inch collet in there, and I've just made this extra piece of quarter inch plywood. It's quarter inch, maybe one eighth. It is whatever it is. It's quarter, pretty sure. Yeah, so I just had to add this piece of quarter inch plywood here. Uh, what it's gonna do is it's gonna bond these three pieces together but it's also gonna give me the right height on my router so that uh, I can plunge in and go all the way through all that with this bit. And so same thing, I'm just gonna do a little bit of CA glue, a little bit of wood glue, and uh, what the CA glue and the wood glue together let you accomplish is that you're going to get a faster bond from the CA glue and you're going to get a stronger bond from the wood glue and so we just do a little bit like this and a couple dots in there and then throw this on there and as long as this is larger than that opening, it's going to work out just fine. And then we're actually going to plunge all the way through this with the router and remove this. And then that's going to give you another added benefit that I'll show you afterwards. Just let this set up for a second. Contact.
they unsimply square off those edges. And so there you can see the template's tight enough that the hinge actually holds itself in the mortise.